going to record. Very good. We'll get on with the interview then. Sandra, last night, late last night, what was the first indication that uh, things weren't going all, you know, things were beginning to go wrong around here? Well, Lynn Bender and I, who's our publicist for Victoria Victoria, were leaving the buildings at one o'clock in the morning. We'd been working on the project and we saw a, a young woman carrying a rather large iron bar who approached us at the time and said, where have you been partying? And uh, we were a bit nervous at this time and said to her, look, you know, we've been working and uh, just get walking. And at that time, she said, where's your car? For some reason, I thought, I don't like this. So we kept walking past my car. But unfortunately, she obviously got the impression that maybe our car was elsewhere and she started attacking other cars in the lot. And at this stage, we just kept walking in this direction because we had a guard on duty and we were hoping we could find him. And that's when we found this devastation. I'm just going to tell you Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're worse still. Their eyes tend to go from you know, me or the interview, from the interviewer to the camera. And it looks worse for them. Can you see how hard these are? But I if you push them. Oh, well, I've got one camera on here. Well, It's a bit of indictment on the people of the Garden State to see something like this happen, isn't it, Peter? Yes, unfortunately, Ian, although it's a very small percentage of people who uh, would do this sort of damage, uh, it's very disappointing to us to, uh, to see these displays vandalised in this way. Our staff put a lot of time and effort into uh, setting up the display, and at the end of the display, they're always very proud of what they do. And to come back the following morning and find this sort of damage uh, is extremely disappointing. Have you spoken to uh, some members of your staff and how do they feel this morning? They are upset. Um, they put a lot of work into providing the flowers and setting up the display and uh, it really hurts them to see that sort of thing happen. Can you understand the sort of person who'd want to do something like that? No, I can't, Ian. It's uh, a most unusual thing. It's not an uncommon thing as far as um, the Parks and Gardens of Melbourne. We have a substantial amount of vandalism, not only for these sorts of displays, but for the general garden displays. And uh, on regular occasions, our staff have to come back out the next morning and repair garden beds and repair shrubberies that have been vandalised the night before. 
Well, is security in a case like this any answer? Security certainly helps. Um, unfortunately, the security wasn't effective last night. Um, we do have a number of park rangers, but they don't work throughout the night. And uh, under normal circumstances, they are effective during the daytime. But after hours at night, it's very, very difficult in the gardens to control this sort of vandalism. Thanks very much. Thank you. Yeah, rolling. <laughs> Take one. A 22 year old unemployed North Fitzroy woman was apprehended by a security guard last night and handed over to police. She's to be charged with two counts of willful damage. In the meantime, concert organisers have decided to cut back on the floral display so that what remains can be guarded more securely.